Welcome back to another episode of Mastering MetaHuman. Today I'm going to show you how to use LiveLink in Unreal Engine paired with Apple's ARKit software to animate your MetaHuman. Let's get started. Alright, now there are a few prerequisites that you need in order to make this work. First and foremost, you need to have an Apple device, which has to be an iPhone or an iPad. For the iPhone, it has to be iPhone 10 or newer. For my case, I'm only using an iPhone 10, so what you see here is going to be the lowest fidelity that you could get with an iPhone. If you have an iPad, you could do it with anything that is an iPad Pro with third generation or newer, as seen on the Epic Games dock here. From there, we're also going to need to enable a few plugins for this. So if you open up your plugins from Edit Plugins in Unreal Engine, first and foremost, we're going to want to make sure we have LiveLink and LiveLink Control Rig enabled. From there, we also want to make sure that we have ARKit and ARKit Face Support. Now we're going to be doing MetaHuman testing in this as well, so we're going to want to make sure that we have the MetaHuman and MetaHuman SDK enabled as well. Now from there, if you're on Windows, what you can do is go to CMD to open up a command prompt, or go to uh, PowerShell. You could type in ipconfig, and this will display your IPv4 address. Be careful sharing this data, however, because this is your IP address and it could make you vulnerable to different cyber attacks. Now, if you download the LiveLink app, as you see on the left, I'm going to leave that up there. And then in the top left of the app, go up to settings and then you could select the LiveLink. For subject name, you could change it from iPhone to LiveLink or something that you'll recognize. We need to take that IP address from earlier and enter it in as a target. Go ahead and type it in here again i'm just doing a dummy one for the test purposes once you're done with that you just hit add and that's basically all you have to do in the app now we're going to go back to unreal all right and once you have that set up in the app all you need to do is go up to window virtual production open up the live link tab and you should see an arkit port with the live link name that you put inside the app if you see this you should be all set to go what we have in the scene is a metahuman character just place into a sequencer. Nothing else, that's it. So if you click on the character in the sequencer and go to details, on the right hand side you're going to see a live link option. If you go to ARKit face subject and you go ahead and click live link and enable, this might happen. This is because I don't have the app open right now. But once you set this up and connect the app, it's going to look good as new. Give me one moment, I'll jump on the app. All right, and once I open up the app and click into scene, you'll see it immediately starts to, you know, capture my face again. Now, if I go to the ARKit and you see that the mouth might not be moving, what we could do is click on the asset again and let's disable and re-enable it. And now you can see that the facial is working as intended. So this is how you get the facial animation working with the ARKit software inside of iPhones along with LiveLink. What you could do from here too is explore the take recorder to record different takes and capture exactly what you're recording here. Then you could layer that animation inside of the sequencer. It auto saves, so it stopped capturing the facial animation again. But there is a lot that you could do with this and this is just the first stepping stone. If you'd like to see more on how you could add those different layers using Take Recorder and then tweaking the animation on top of that with different animation layers inside of Unreal Engine, I'd be happy to make more tutorials. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Next week, we're going to dive into the DNA files a little bit more and how we can manipulate them with DNA Calib and the DNA Viewer within Maya. It's going to get a little bit more technical in next episode, so be ready for that. But as always, keep learning, and I'll see you next time.